What up, watch peeps? I have a watch to unbox here today. It is still sealed, still taped, funky fresh in the flesh. Okay, so you guys know how Jody from Just One More Watch has his mysterious benefactor, Mr. X. Now, Random Rob has Homer. Well, I have El Jefe. El Jefe. That is Spanish for the boss. Well, El Jefe has bought a watch. It's not new, but he wanted to help the channel out, so he had it sent here first so I could make a video. Very cool thing for him to do, and this is a very cool watch from a brand I have talked about before. Between that and the title, you might be able to put together what this is. All right, no more suspense. Let's open this sucker up and see what we got. But first, if you enjoy the channel, subscribing is a huge help, always much appreciated. Let's get to it. I'm Pete, and we are Chillin' With Watches. First things first, first check. I am wearing the Doxa Sub 300T today, and it is on one of these FKM rubber straps that you see cropping up all over the place. FKM is a synthetic rubber-like material, and there's a reason you're seeing so many people use these things. They are fantastic. They're very smooth. They don't hold lint. They have breathing vents. They're flexible. So you can get these on AliExpress. Eh, the Price fluctuates, but usually somewhere around 10 bucks. I will put a link in the description. If you might be interested in picking one of those up for yourself. All right, let's open this box. So what, what do you guys think of the name El Jefe? I put a lot of thought and deliberation into that. About 10 seconds, it just came right to me. It's perfect, right? That gives it away. Well, that surely does. All right, what we have is the New York 6BB chronograph. I don't know if you guys have seen these before. Wow, look at that thing's almost still taped up. All right, so New Mark, you know, as I've talked about before, um, they are a brand, a new brand out of England. They have revived the name New Mark, and they have been making watches out of New Mark's uh, back catalog, which. Yeah, like I said before, that's a fantastic way to come up with your watches. And so far, the designs have all been on point. All right, it comes with a nice single pass. Oh, that's a Blue Shark. I don't, I don't think it came with this. Uh, the seller must have thrown that in. Pretty nice strap, though. All right, here's the package we are after. Oh, I better be gentle with this so El Jefe doesn't get upset and stop sending me watches. First one. You ruined it. And there we are. So this is one of those asymmetrical cased um, RAF style pilot watches. Now, now Newmark actually made these watches, I think it was in the late 60s if I remember. I said it in one of my previous videos, for the RAF. And um, this is their new revived recreation of this watch. And it is fantastic. It uses a Seiko Mecha Court, so no winding there, but... These asymmetric cases are awesome, right? These are available. You can pick them up on their website for 279 pounds, which works out to be about 344 US dollars. So the dial layout, if you're not familiar with these uh, Mecha Quartz, you have, this one has no running seconds. So the center seconds is actually the chronograph seconds. And this register over here is the minutes register. And this is a 24 hour hand, basically an AM PM indicator. And these Mecha quartz, so they have a sweeping second hand. I think that's four ticks a second when you stop it. And they also have flyback reset. So very cool. You get a lot of the benefits of a mechanical chronograph with the durability and the robustness of a quartz chronograph. The handset they use is very typical of the original from the 60s. I don't know what you call these, leaf, leaf hands? 
They seem like they have a nice healthy application of loom. We will check that out at the end. So the crown will just have the one position. There's no date here. And that is for setting the time. And like all Seiko movements, you wind forward to set the time. Real easy to set. Not very wishy-washy. Pretty, pretty standard Seiko quartz. And then nothing when it's turned in. So let's take a look at the crown. I see it has coin edge crown grip. You know, one of my favorite specs, crown size, 7.2. Anything seven or bigger and I am in. So yeah, there's no issue using this. And as a quartz, you're not gonna need to use it very often, but as you can see how flush it sits with the case. So the case extends further out on the pusher and crown side than the other side and that just becomes built-in crown guards. So the case size on these guys, let's see where's the best place to grab it. 39.7 I'm getting there. I might not have it perfect, but that's pretty close. Lug to lug. Sorry, I keep slipping. About 46 millimeters on the lug to lug. Thickness, now this has an acrylic crystal. Very nice domed acrylic crystal. So let's see, the thickness, oh, I gotta take it off the strap. We're gonna check that out. So this is the strap it comes with, I think, right? Yeah, signed Newmark. Very nice, just that, what do you call this? Admiralty Gray, very nice strap. Case thickness, including the domed acrylic, 12.8. Again, great spec, perfectly on point. Lug width on these is, without a strap on here, I can actually get between the lugs. 20 millimeter lugs. Like I said, yeah, that is a domed acrylic crystal. So you get that fantastic distortion around the edges. You see how like the five, six, and seven are just stretching out there. That, that's what a lot of people really like about these. I've come full circle on, well, I don't know if it's full circle, but I've gone back and forth on acrylics. I, I used to, I used to buy these and put them in different watches, uh, chasing after that vintage look, right? So this is an acrylic crystal you can buy. They have tension rings built in them. And that is what provides an outward pressure when you squeeze this into their spot as opposed to a gasket and a sapphire, which doesn't give. These can actually squeeze because they're made of plastic. But I used to put these in SNZH 57s making like you know, vintage looking 50 Fathoms watches. Here's another one. They can get different colored tension rings in them. There's diver tights. Let's see, that's that what this is. Yeah, DT stands for diver tight, 30.1 millimeter. Ever tights, 32 and a half millimeter. But we, I used to put them in a chasing vintage watch looks. Um, and that is cool. And that's kind of what they're doing here. That's what Laurier, Laurier does. And then I was like, well, yeah, I know you can just poly out the scratches, but I don't want to have to poly out my scratches. You know what I mean? And I get that a lot of people like the way it looks like this too, right? The distortion and just the, just the look and feel of it. That is pretty great. But I think now that they can make Sapphire that looks like this, I, I just prefer maybe the carefree nature of the Sapphire. Uh, either way, whatever you prefer, it is very cool. The dome is nice. So the water resistance on these is 50 meters. And I'm guessing that is a combination of, well, that's a screw back case, uh, of just being a, um, a chronograph. Pushers, I think, have their limits, right? Without being screwed down. Now, I know you can get substantial water resistance even with an acrylic. Laurier's are 200 meters if I'm not wrong so let's look at this case some more so you see those turned down lugs so yeah man look at that brushing though that is really nice too okay so yeah you see how the lugs turn down but what you can also see is that this watch does have some belly baby got back a little bit but sometimes that hides with the nato as this does not come with a bracelet 
but these are not fixed spring bars. They are not fixed bars. They are regular spring bars. So you can put it on any kind of strap. But yeah, that brushing looks really great. Transitions across the top. So this thing is fully brushed except for like details you might see along the case back. Maybe this small edge right before the crystal, but from the top, all polished. You can see it does not have drilled lugs. So yeah, let's get this thing on wrist real quick. So here it is on the OEM Admiralty Gray NATO on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. It's a great size watch. I mean, it's almost in that perfect 40 millimeter spot that's gonna suit large and small wrists. I think it wears great. Here it is on the leather single pass that came with the Serica field watch. Gives it a little bit more of a vintage vibe. Very cool, very comfortable to wear watch. Let's take a look at it side by side with some other watches. All right, another watch of the of a similar genre, the G10. This is a 36 millimeter watch. Both have similar bezels. So their bezel and dial proportions are about the same. So you can see it's a smaller watch than that. Here it is side by side, the Notice Sector field case, which is a 38 millimeter case. Slightly larger than that. Definitely taller, but you that's typical of a chronograph, right? Man, look at those chamfers on that notice. That's dope. Here it is side by side, the Sector Field or Sector Serica field. 37.7 millimeter. So it's slightly larger than that as well. Man, look at the chamfers on the Serica. I'm noticing a pattern. Here it is with an SKX, the 42 millimeter diver. So you can see it definitely wears smaller than an SKX. I love the, uh, I love the case on this thing. And while the Doxa is still off here, it is side by side with that. I think the Doxa comes in at 42 millimeters. So similar to the SKX, also wears smaller than that. All right. We've only got one other thing left to do. Keep the loom. And there she is. So I've heard that acrylic lets light pass through better activating the loom more. I don't know if that's true. I guess it's true. It's got a nice application of loom. Really good. I mean, especially for a chronograph. Even in person, it looks great. All right, let's flip the camera back around and wrap this thing up. So there it is, the Newmark 6BB chronograph. Kind of like this thing on the leather. Makes me feel like I want to jump in a fighter with a propeller. All right, before I let you go, sneaker check. Just kicking the vans. I'm just kicking around the house. I don't like to mess up my J's. All right, I'm out. If it's not too much trouble, like, subscribe, and come back next time. Peace.